Question 1. Suppose the lead architect in your company has asked your team to implement a PAS-based solution in Azure for a quick proof of concept POC to senior management. One of your colleagues goes ahead and creates an Azure Logic app and an Azure Data Factory deployment. Would you agree with this implementation? Option A. No. Option B. Yes. And the correct answer is Option B. Yes. Explanation. Azure Logic App and Azure Data Factory both fall under the PAAS platform as a service category. Next question. One of the primary benefits of using an Azure Key Vault is Dash Option A. Automatically masking sensitive information Option B. Enforcing organizational standards and to assess compliance at scale Option C. Key management Option D. To see and stop threats before they cause harm And the correct answer is Option C. Key management Explanation Enforcing organizational standards and to assess compliance at scale, this is done by Azure policy. To see and stop threats before they cause harm, this is done by Azure Sentinel. From the official documentation, Key Management Azure Key Vault can be used as a key management solution. Azure Key Vault makes it easy to create and control the encrypt keys used to encrypt your data. Next question. We get total control of the underlying operating system when working with platform as a service PAAS solutions. Option A. No. Option B. Yes. And the correct answer is Option A. No. Explanation from the official Azure documentation. Platform as a service is a complete deployment and deployment environment in the cloud with resources that enable you to deliver everything from simple cloud-based apps to sophisticated, cloud-enabled enterprise applications. You purchase the resources you need from a cloud service provider on a pay-as-you-go basis and access them over a secure internet connection. Like IAS, PAAS includes infrastructure, servers, storage, and networking, but also middleware deployment tools, business intelligence services, database management system, and more. PAAS is designed to support the complete web application lifecycle, building, testing, deploying, managing, and updating. PAAS allows you to avoid the expense and complexity of buying and managing software licenses, the underlying application infrastructure, and middleware, container orchestrators such as Kubernetes or the deployment tools and other resources. You manage the applications and services you develop, and the cloud service provider typically manages everything else. Next question. Which of the following Azure support plans grants access to? Number 1. 24-7 access to support engineers via email and phone. Number 2. Training in the form of webinars from Azure experts. Number 3. Access to the support API. Option A. Standard. Option B. Professional Direct Option C Developer Option D Basic And the correct answer is Option B Professional Direct Explanation Look at the table below. Clearly, Professional Direct is the correct option. It is the only option, last column, that fulfills all mentioned requirements. Next question which of the following affect cost in Azure? Choose two options. Option A. Location. Option B. Instance size. Option C. Knowledge center uses. Option D. Availability zone. And the correct answer is Option A. Location. And Option B. Instance size. Explanation. According to the official docs, the instance size and the location that is US or Europe etc. affect the prices. The knowledge center is completely free to use and you aren't charged for an availability zone. Next question. When should you scale out your deployment? Option A. When you need additional virtual machines or computers to speed up your application. Option B. When you need to reduce your cost of operation. Option C. 
when you want to reduce the unused capacity of your system. Option D, when you need a stronger CPU to make your application run faster. And the correct answer is option A, when you need additional virtual machines or computers to speed up your application. Explanation Scale out A scale out operation is the equivalent of creating multiple copies of your website and adding a load balancer to distribute the demand between them. When you scale out a website in Azure, there is no need to configure load balancing separately since this is already provided by the platform. Next question. Which of the following services provides information about Azure service incidents, plan maintenance, and can notify you of issues via email, SMS, and push notifications? Option A. Azure Trust Portal. Option B. Azure Monitor. Option C. Azure Service Health. Option D. Azure Initiatives. And the correct answer is Option C. Azure Service Health. Explanation. According to the official Azure Docs, Azure Service Health notifies you about Azure Service incidents and plan maintenance so you can take action to mitigate downtime. We can configure customizable cloud alerts and use your personalized dashboard to analyze health issues, monitor the impact to your cloud resources, get guidance and support, and share details and updates. Next question, which of the following services provides a personalized view of the health of the Azure services, reasons and resources you rely on? Option A, Azure Resource Health. Option B, Azure Monitor. Option C, Azure Advisor. Option D, Azure Service Health. And the correct answer is Option D, Azure Service Health. Explanation. Azure Service Health provides a personalized view of the health of the Azure services, reasons, and resources you rely on. The status.azure.com website, which displays only major issues that broadly affect Azure customers, does not provide the full picture. But Azure Service Health displays both major and smaller, localized issues that affect you. Service issues are rare, but it's important to be prepared for the unexpected. You can set up alerts that help you triage outages and plant maintenance. After an outage, Service Health provides official incident reports called Root Cause Analysis, RCS, which you can share with stakeholders. Next question. Your company has explored some of the services in Azure Public Preview. One of the architects working in your team has advised you to deploy mission-critical services or applications to these services. Do you agree? Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is option B, no. Explanation. According to the official documentation, it is important to note that the services offered in public preview are excluded from the service level agreements, SLAs. It is therefore not a good idea to deploy production environments on resources or services that are in preview, public or private. Next question. A resource group can contain resources from multiple Azure reasons. Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option A. Yes. Explanation. From the official documentation, resources from multiple different reasons can be placed in a resource group. The resource group only contains metadata about the resources it contains. Next question. Deleting a resource group deletes all the resources inside it as well. Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option A. Yes. Explanation. From the Azure official docs, deleting the resource group will remove the resource group as well as all the resources in that resource group. This can be useful for the management of resources. For example, a virtual machine has several components, the VM itself, virtual disk, network adapter, etc. By placing the VM in its own resource group, you can delete the VM along with all its associated components by deleting the resource group. 
Another example is when creating a test environment. You could place the entire test environment, network components, virtual machines, etc. in one resource group. You can then delete the entire test environment by deleting the resource group. Next question. You have been asked by senior management to prepare a presentation describing not only the benefits but also the estimated cost savings you can realize by migrating your workloads to Azure. As the lead architect, which service would you use for these calculations? Option A. Azure TCO Calculator Option B. Azure Monitor Option C. Azure Cost Management Option D. Azure Advisor And the correct answer is Option A. Azure TCO Calculator Explanation For users wishing to adopt cloud services, Azure provides a web-based TCO Calculator. You can use this calculator to estimate the cost of migrating your data and applications to Azure and predict potential savings. Next question. What is the present maximum capacity for storage accounts? Option A. 2 PB. Option B. 750 TB. Option C. 500 TB. Option D. 5 PB. And the correct answer is option D, 5 PB. Explanation. Referring to the official Azure docs again, the maximum storage account capacity currently is 5 PB. This might change with time, so if you feel it has changed, inform me through message or in the question answer section. It will highly appreciate it. Next question. When you create a resource group, you need to provide a location for that resource group. Option A, no. Option B, yes. And the correct answer is option B, yes. Explanation From the official Azure docs, when you create a resource group, you need to provide a location for that resource group. You may be wondering, why does the resource group need a location? And if the resources can have different locations than the resource group, why does the resource group location matter at all? The resource group stores metadata about the resources. When you specify a location for the resource group, you are specifying where that metadata is stored. For compliance reasons, you may need to ensure that your data is stored in a particular region. Next question. You have dozens of virtual machines VM hosted in Azure. The lead architect has asked for your suggestions to migrate all the VMS to an Azure Pay-as-you-go subscription. Which expenditure model would apply to the stated requirement? Option A. Operational. Option B. Fault tolerant. Option C. Scalable. Option D. Capital. And the correct answer is Option A. Operational. Explanation. Fault tolerant and scalable are wrong answers because such payment models does not exist. Capital expenditure is also incorrect since we are not going to be paying anything upfront. Operational makes most sense since it means pay as you go, that is, paying only for what you consume and nothing else. Pay as you go. This offer is built at the standard pay as you go rates, except as otherwise specified. You will be notified through email at least 30 days in advance of any changes to the pay-as-you-go rates. New services may be added periodically to the Azure platform. Azure will notify you in advance of these new services and any fees that might be charged for using them. However, you would only be charged if you elect to use the new services. Any taxes which may result from receiving services at no charge are the sole responsibility of the recipient. Thank you for watching this video. Buy our AZ 900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.